XML variable. So XML equals new XML e target data. So this is all the data from that XML file I'm loading. And then I have to create an XML list. So I'm creating an uh, IL is the variable XML list equals XML. That's this right here. And then channel item title. So that's going to give me all the titles here. Okay. And then I've created two more XML list variables called SL and SL2. And these <coughs> are specifically pointing to um, specific places in the XML file. And I'm going to show you what that looks like now. So if I come over here, this is the RSS feed from my site. And if I go to View and go to Page Source, you'll see that here, here is the media tag that I'm using. So this is the namespace that I have to use because I want to use the media tag, which if we come down here is, um, do 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 do, where'd you go? Well, here's the title, Utilities for Networking. So that's the first thing that I grab, and that goes into my first XML list. And then, thumbnail, 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 description, and here we are, media. <coughs> so here's the media, and here's the keywords, and then there's media group, and then there's media content. And what we want is the URL tag right here. Okay. And so to get this URL, I have to use this line. So it's XML channel item flip RSS and then it goes to that media group. Okay. So it's media group blip RSS and then the content and then at URL. And the at URL is referring to the fact that this is not, this is within the tag itself and not located there. Okay, so then you have to use that add symbol to get this URL data. Um, there is a very excellent um, Flash developer article on XML and how to bring XML up. It's one of the best. Also, I got the original idea for this from Lee Brimlow's um, website called gotoandlearn.com. It's an excellent website for learning about Flash stuff. Um, so those, those are going to give me my media files. <coughs> now I have some unsigned integers here and you'll, you'll see what those are for. One is zero, one is one. And that's because I need to be able to have access to both the FLV file and the the move file, and I need to skip through these as best I can. So, for var uh, one un un inter unsigned integer zero, uh, for i is less than the il length, so it's less than this length here. So as soon as this runs through all of the items in the list, it's going to be greater than, and then it'll stop. So then it, it does one every time. So this is DP. This is the data provider. So I'm adding an item, and I'm adding the data from the SL1, which is U, which starts at 1, to move data, SL2, M, which starts at 0, label, ill, I, and so on. And so the label is actually the title name that appears here. And then the data is, this is the obviously the QuickTime data. And then this, this is the FLV data. And I have to use a 1 and a 0 because I want every other 1 in my list. And you can see here I plus them by 2 instead of by 1. Otherwise they would all go through and they would actually at one time, the FLV button would be representing a QuickTime, and the other time it would be representing an FLV, so it wouldn't line up properly. So you have to add each one by two so that you get the proper file for download. And then I'm simply telling it here that the, the this 
list box is data provider is this DP. Okay? And that's all there is to that. This took some tweaking, and you may have to figure out this for yourself depending upon which RSS feed you use, but this will work for the Blip TV feed. This creates a file reference, and this is for downloading. So download, cancel, button, enable false, that's for the button. This, in, uh, this sets the download cancel button to false because I'm not downloading anybody. And then this is the function for downloading the move file. Okay. And as you can see, the FR is a file reference, so file reference download move URL. And then move URL is URL request move link, which is set up there. Um, and then this adds the event listener to the move button. This is basically the same thing as this, only but with the FLV file, the flash video file. This adds the flash uh, event listener to the flash video file for downloading, so when it's <coughs> clicked on. And then this is the download cancel add event listener. So if I click on the download cancel. And And then, of course, uh, this is the configure listeners uh, call, and this calls this function. Okay, and then this listens for while the file is being downloaded. Okay, and so this listens to see when it's complete. This listens to see when it's open, and this listens to see um, the progress of the event. And this is what handles the progress bar. Um, then, if I cancel download, all of these things are set. Uh, then, of course, we have our handlers here. So, open handler, the download progress bar is visible, the download cancel button is enabled, the download progress is set to zero, basically, so it starts from the beginning. And then you disable, basically, the two download buttons here. Then, this is the progress handler. Um, this is the file reference. Um, then this sets the download progress bar. And then the progress label is visible, so it's saying, it's saying basically that it's downloading. And then once it's complete downloading, it resets itself to zero. Um, <coughs> it turns off the download cancel button, um, turns off the download progress bar. It makes the progress label invisible again, and then it re-enables the download buttons. And that's it. That's all the code that you need to do that. The hardest part is figuring out this here, how you're going to attach each, get the data out of the XML file that you need. And so this area here is the most difficult. So I'm going to close this up. and. Um, I show you how it worked last time, and that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing you want to make sure is make sure you have an actions layer and that you put all of your script into one frame in the actions layer. Um, again, I'll be posting the fla file and all the necessary um, files on my website at learningengineer.com, either on the front page or under the download section. Uh, have a good day.